Hey, what's up? It's the Wing Jing Kid. Today I'm going to show you how to fight multiple opponents. Two or three opponents. <laughs> Fight multiple opponents. I'll show you step by step five tips on how you can beat them all. Here we go. Hey, here's five tips on how to fight multiple opponents. The first tip is finish the attacker fast. So if somebody's coming in, you don't want to do a boxing match with the guy, right? It takes too long. And most of the time in street fights, punches don't land. Just watch YouTube, man. You see people punching like this, even trained boxers, okay? People protect their heads really well, even untrained fighters. So you're doing height hunting, most likely you're not gonna finish the fight and you just tire yourself out, okay? So if somebody's punching, don't do a boxing match with him. Get in there and clinch so he can't punch you, all right? And finish the fight, okay? Don't, don't do these hits. These hits are just to get him distracted so he loses a little bit of balance, okay? Once you do a couple of hits, balls, whatever, oh. then take him down, finish him off, boom. Next attacker, right? You don't have time to play around, dance around, and play boxing or kickboxing in a competition mindset. This is a street fight. You gotta finish a guy in five seconds or less because there's other people next to him. That's the first tip. Here's tip number two. In a street fight, people are gonna crowd in. You got more than one opponent, so you're not just facing one guy. If I'm just looking at him, where are the other guys? Behind me, right? So step number two, or tip number two, is to keep moving. Let's say they're all trying to crowd me. Try to crowd me, right? I gotta keep, I gotta keep moving. So I get out of the way moving in a circle. Keep moving between people. Okay? Alright? If they're all in the middle, go between them. You gotta keep moving. Because if you stop, stand still, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, you get swarmed. Right? And it's over for you. So tip number two, keep moving. Here's tip number three on fighting multiple opponents. You gotta use the obstacles. Alright? A couple of obstacles you can use. First of all, people are coming towards you, right? Holy shit, too many people. Get behind them. Then they come this way, you take them one, one at a time. Boom, boom, like that. You see what happened? Okay? Use obstacles. They have to go around the obstacle to get to you. Another way of using obstacles is use the other guy to be the obstacle. So one guy's coming, right? Boom. Right? Use him as an obstacle. Right? Boom. Use the guy as an obstacle. Back off, man. Choke this guy out. Right? And he's an obstacle. Right? So use people as obstacles so they have to get through them to get to you. Hey, fourth tip, very important tip, is always check your flanks every five seconds or so. How do you do a check? Left, right, left. Okay, that's what you gotta do. Every five seconds, you count one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth second, left, right, left. Check your flanks. Alright? Because if you don't, if you focus too much on one guy, I'm punching this guy, I'm fighting this guy, I'm not checking my flanks. Boom! Boom! Okay? Punches come out of nowhere, right? These things happen fast. So you do one, two, three, four, five, check. Guys coming. One, two, three, four, five, check. You gotta see you 360. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Boom. Check, check, check. You gotta know where everybody is every five seconds. Okay? So don't focus just on one guy. There's more one attacker. You don't want to be hit with a bat in the back of the head or stabbed in the back. You got to be prepared. All right, so check your flanks. Hey, fifth tip of fighting multiple opponents, especially in the street fight situation, is avoid the ground. Now, you don't want to start mounting the guy just because he's down. Because let's say he's down for some reason, boom, he's down. He's on the ground, right? You don't want to mount the guy and start pummeling him because what's happening? There's other guys behind you. Oh, now I got to deal with these guys. Okay, now if you're fighting one to one, it's okay because you got a dominant position, right? Um, and that's good. But also, you don't want to mount the guy because people are taking pictures, right? <laughs> Who looks like the attacker now? You are because yeah. you're mounting the guy even though he started the fight, okay? Yeah. So avoid the ground. Now, if you get taken down, let's say uh, you get taken down, don't do these things like guards and stuff. It's good to get temporary position. But now, get the hell out of there! 
because you got other people to deal with, all right? Yeah. You don't want to be on the ground trying to submit the guy, even though you got a good position, and then these guys are kicking your head in, right? So avoid the ground. Jiu-Jitsu is great. You got to use it and know how to get those positions to defend yourself, but don't focus on submitting. That's the fifth tip. Hey, thanks for watching this video. How to fight multiple opponents is important because people don't usually attack one person at a time. They're gonna bring their friends. Nobody's courageous on their own. They're gonna bring their buddies, all right? So here's three more tips for you for multiple opponents. Number one, you need to breathe. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. Don't hyperventilate and keep breathing because you're gonna fight three guys and you need to last that long. Number two, use a weapon to balance the scales. You have three people against you. And statistically, once it gets three or more people, the chances of death increase magic dramatically. One and two people are the same, but once it gets to three or more opponents, your chances of dying increases dramatically. So what you gonna got? Look around you, find weapons. Even a water bottle you can use as a weapon, okay? Find weapons. Number three, run. If you have to, just get the hell out of there, okay? If you take a guy down, don't, don't mount him or anything. Just dump on his head and get the hell out of there, all right? So those are three more tips for you. So train safe and have fun and stay safe on the street. We'll see you in the next lesson.